Hey guys, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. And this is Two Neighbors. So Adam, what are we reacting to today? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has come to this day where we answer the call of Tyler Johnston, who has requested this video basically on every single video we post. And he requested Fluffy, the set of Magic Mike. All right. So, cool. Tyler, we got you. There you go. So Tyler put the link to this down below in every single video, Very along good. with hashtag my request, and I we do appreciate that. Um, so yeah, this is Gabriel Iglesias, also known, AKA Fluffy, um, Secrets from the Set of Magic Mike. So today's video, guys, brought to you by our sponsor, OCanadaSwag.com. Guys, if you want some cool Canadian swag clothes, they do hoodies, t-shirts, uh, with cool designs on them. Hit up OKSwag.com and if there's anything you like, put uh, in the coupon section of the checkout two neighbors and you will get 20% off your first order plus free shipping and no tax. Very cool. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well if you haven't already, guys. Let's roll. After I performed in the Middle East, um, I had one of the longest flights of my life coming home. It was probably about a 26 hour trip, okay? We left out of Kuwait and we had about four stops. It was long. When I got home, I was so tired, I, I turned on my phone to check my messages, and uh, I had a voicemail message from a guy by the name of Channing Tatum. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> now, for those of you not worrying, <laughs> let me explain who that is. Channing Tatum is the new Hollywood hot guy. He's the guy that comes out on all these movies, really good looking, ripped. You know, he's making a lot of films. And there's a voicemail on there from him. Game for the glaciers, this is Channing Tatum. Please call me at your earliest convenience, blah, 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 you know? And I'm like, oh, okay. So I call him up. You know, hello. I go, hi, this is Gabriel Iglesias. I'm calling from Mr. Channing Tatum. He yells, Fluffy! <laughs> <laughs> hello? Oh, dude, man, I'm a huge fan. Hey, listen, bro, really quick. I only have like a minute. Look, bro, I'm doing a new movie, and I want to see if you're interested in reading and auditioning for one of the parts. I go, I go, sure, bro. I, I, I'd be happy to audition for, for, uh, you know, for your movie. What's, what's it called? It was the movie's called Magic Mike. <laughs> have you seen Magic Mike? No, I haven't. <laughs> I was like, okay, Magic Mike. So you need a magician. You need an assistant. You want to saw me in half? <laughs> actually, bro, the movie has nothing to do with magic. It's actually a movie about male strippers. I said, male strippers? He goes, yeah, male strippers. I said, you do know that this is. Gabriel Iglesias, right? <laughs> he goes, you're funny, bro. Listen, we've already got the dancers, but we need somebody to play the DJ at the club. Will you audition for the part? I said, you know what, bro? I'm, I'll be there, okay? And just to let you guys know, because some people have asked me in the past, how come you're not in more movies? Because you have to audition. <laughs> and I don't like auditions because they treat you like crap. Auditions are very cold and very just, and make you feel like they seriously do. You work really hard to memorize all your lines and you show up and you try to do your thing and they cut you off really quick. You're in there and you're like, um, okay, so who am I reading? Hold on. Oh, okay, oh, oh, hold on. Hey, how's it going? Don't talk to him. All right, no problem. <laughs> you ready? Yes, I'm, I'm ready. Um, real quick question. How much energy do you want? You don't know? Um, that's why I'm asking. Uh, <laughs> and when you're done, you try to ask him more questions. Like, is this okay? Would you like me to go again? Thank you. They, I had my the fingers this so many times and it thank you thank you thank you and you're sitting in your car and you're crying <laughs> <laughs> they don't like me it's a terrible feeling so i don't like putting myself through that but since i got a phone call from the guy i'm like all right i hope it's a little bit different so i show up to the audition i'm sitting in the lobby and it's funny because anytime there's an audition Everybody at the audition, usually they're looking for a specific type. And so everybody that's sitting there with me looks just like me. <laughs> everybody in there is big, everybody's sitting there, everybody's all happy and jolly and stuff. We're all looking at each other, trying to outdo each other. Like, no, I look more like me than you do. You don't look like me. <laughs> no, this is what they want. No, this is what they want. <laughs> so the receptionist looks at me. She goes, Mr. Iglesias, they'll see you now. And I'm like, okay, cool. Here we go. Let's, let's see how this goes. So I start mentally preparing myself for the, you know, the problems that happen in there. I walk in, I don't say anything to anyone. I walk in, there's three people in the room. I close the door and I just look over at the casting person who's sitting at her desk and I, hello. And her 
the camera person and the person I'm reading with all jumped up and yelled, Fluffy! And they ran over to me and they started hugging me and pulling out camera phones. Now I'm taking pictures with them. Next thing you know, they call a receptionist. Judy, get in here. And the girl comes in. Now I'm taking pictures with four women. We're going back and forth. I'm like, this is different. <laughs> and I go, wow, you know, this is very refreshing. Thank you. I says, who am I reading my part with? And the casting person says, this is a formality. They've always wanted you for the part. And they said, if you show it up, it's yours. So basically, we've already called your agent since you showed up. <laughs> really? Yeah, this is great. So I, I get to my car. My agent is blowing up my phone, right? <laughs> and I answer the phone. I go, hello. He's like, dude, you nailed that audition. <laughs> <laughs> What did you do? I was like, dude, I took pictures. <laughs> Way to take those pictures, bro. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm on the set of the movie Magic Mike. The movie is directed by a, a director named Steven Soderbergh, who's an amazing, amazing director. He's done a lot of great films. Mm -hmm. And of course, Channing Tatum's in the movie. In addition to him, there's an actor by the name of Matthew McConaughey mm. who's attached to the movie. I'm a huge fan of Matthew McConaughey, okay? When I heard about him, I was so excited. You know, people say, really, you get excited? You get starstruck? Hell yeah! I'm a comedian, not an actor. <laughs> <laughs> so I show up, and immediately they send me to the makeup trailer that's parked outside. So I go inside the makeup trailer, I sit down, they start working on my hair, they start putting makeup on me, and in comes Matthew McConaughey, and he sits down in the chair next to me, and I start freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, that's Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> and now, I, I decide to introduce myself before I did or said something stupid, right? So I look over at him and I say, excuse me, Mr. McConaughey, how you doing? My name is Gabriel Iglesias. I'm gonna be playing the part of Tobias, the club DJ, and I just wanted to say hello, and it's an honor to work with you. And in my head, I'm like, I hope he's the same guy. I hope he's the same person <laughs> from the movies. I hope his voice is the same. I hope his accent's the same. And he looks at me and he says, all right. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing there, big man? You doing good? I'm doing good. All right. All and right. I'm spazzing out. <laughs> and they pull my ass out of the trailer and they take me out of the set. And, uh, the majority of the shots in the movie Magic Mike are shot inside of a strip club, okay? It's on a stage, and I'm very comfortable up here. But the cool part for me is I'm on the side of the stage inside of a DJ booth, so I don't have any worries. The director comes up to me and he says, Listen, Gabe, you got all your speaking roles in the film, but in addition to that, you are the key background in every shot when it comes to the dancers. He goes, the guy on stage is the eye candy, but you're the guy that provides the ear candy, and you need to express yourself and give me energy. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Next thing I know. All right, everybody, here we go. And quiet on the set. Hit and action. All of a sudden, the dancing. <laughs> Dancer comes out. Camera starts panning just like that one, right? And all of a sudden, I'm in my DJ booth, and I start DJing it up. Cut! <laughs> 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 <Come! laughs> The director comes out from behind the camera, crosses the stage, and gets in my face. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Give me more. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Quiet on the and action. <laughs> and I take off. The movie comes out. I attend the screening of the film with my girlfriend at Warner Brothers Studios. We're sitting there and we're waiting for that part to come up. And I tell her, baby, it's coming, it's coming, watch. Sure enough, the camera starts panning. And you see the dancer, you can't even see his head. All you see is his body all freaking ripped and moving. <laughs> and in the background, in the DJ booth, you cannot see any of the DJ equipment. <laughs> because it's all below the line. Like, yeah. All you see in the background is some chubby purple in a box having the time of his life. <laughs> and my girlfriend's like, oh, you're gay. I guess so. <laughs> And that was my Hollywood debut right there. And in addition to that, 
There was a couple of other things that happened in this movie that I gotta share because you're never gonna hear about them in a DVD bonus feature. <laughs> One of the characters in the movie, his name in the movie is Big Dick Richie. I'll leave it at that. He's played by an actor named Joe. Joe's, Joe's a cool guy, cool guy. I, I met him out, you know, uh, we became buddies after the movie and uh, nice guy. He's big, he's ripped, okay? And his whole thing is he comes out on stage and he's dancing behind a silhouette. So all you see is a shadow of him dancing for three minutes. And after the third minute, he grabs his G-string and this is how he finishes his performance. He tears it off, exposing a shadow of, you know, hmm. <laughs> now in real life, Joe does not possess. <laughs> it's more like, you know, rawr. <laughs> Don't laugh too hard, that's most of us, okay? <laughs> now, because they needed to make this scene happen and we're shooting it in Hollywood, they made a phone call to an adult film company that was up the street and they got a hold of their props department and they said basically, you know, what we need is about 45 impressive male rubber parts to be brought down to the set of the movie Magic Mike so we can attach one of them to an actor for a scene. It took maybe 30 minutes for some guy to show up with a big trunk on the set. And you can just tell he did not belong. <laughs> <laughs> And Channing Tatum saw him and he goes, are you the guy? I'm the guy. <laughs> and he brought him inside the house and he got all the actors around the kitchen table and he told the guy, he says, listen bro, dump it out right here, all of it. And the guy opens up the trunk and he dumps out all of these big freaking, you know, it made a mountain. <laughs> and all the actors were just standing there just staring like, oh my god. All of a sudden the 12 year old came out of all of us because we all grabbed one and started playing Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> they know you will. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's something you're not going to hear about in the E True Hollywood story or something like that. And another thing I got to share about this experience doing the movie Magic Mike is that uh, we shot it in two locations. We shot it in Hollywood and we shot it in um, Orlando, no, no, not Orlando, Tampa, Florida. And one of the scenes was shot on a sandbar, which most of you know already is a little tiny island with nothing on it. It's a little real small and people go there and they party. And so we get to this little island and uh, this guy with the headphones, his title is PA, personal assistant, the director, and he comes over and he tells us, listen guys, we're gonna be here for a couple of hours. If you need to use the facilities, these are your options. There's no plumbing here. You can either go in the water or you can go to those bushes over there. It's up to you. And I'm like, I'm fine, I already went. Two hours, no problem. Four hours later. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> what do you need? Listen, bro, you guys said we were only gonna be here for like two hours. It's going on five, my stomach is killing me. What's the story? We're gonna be here for like another three, the director has some more shots. Oh, you have your options, thanks. <laughs> so the first thing I look at is the water, okay? <laughs> and to put it into perspective for you guys, the water's like right there, okay? <laughs> and all the actors are like, like right there, okay? So I was like, are you kidding me? I'm not gonna go pop a squat in the water in front of all those actors just so somebody can walk by and go, Fluffy's killing fish. <laughs> <laughs> so I take a stroll out to the bushes, right? So I start walking out to the bushes, my stomach is killing me. And fortunately, by the time I got there, my stomach had settled. So I no longer had to go number two. But since I was there, you know, <laughs> go make a rain, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm in the bushes and I'm doing my thing and all of a sudden I start hearing noises. Just <laughs> and you know how you could just feel when somebody's standing like right next to you? And I couldn't turn around because, you know, I was doing my thing. All of a sudden, I see a shadow. A long shadow. <laughs> and it's coming in my direction. And I see that and I'm like, ha ha, 
funny, Joe, that's funny. All of a sudden, that shadow started to pee. And I was like, oh my God, it's real. Now curiosity has me. I gotta find out who the hell the owner. So really quick, I'm just like, you know, who? All right. <laughs> Nice and uh, yeah. <laughs> fluffy. Well, Tyler Justin, there you have it. We did your video, which yeah. thank you very much. That was an excellent video at that. Yep. Um, Magic Mike, I want to watch that movie now. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it. Um, you know, heard mixed reviews, <laughs> depending, you know, who you're hearing it from. But uh, yeah, I didn't know Matthew McConaughey was even in it. Yes, he is. All right. Matthew, uh, I, I, I like Matthew right. McConaughey. Yeah. I love Matthew yeah. McConaughey. Great, great. I, great. I just finished reading his book, uh, Green Light, and yeah. it's really good. But I actually do the audiobook, so okay. he, actually, he actually narrated the oh, audiobook. Oh, did he really? Oh. And it makes it so much better. Sure, absolutely. So much better. He just yeah. talks about his life and <laughs> how he got into the acting world. and uh, But Magic Mike with uh, McConaughey, I mean. Yep. I like Channing Tatum, too. He was good in... Uh, like the Jump Street series and stuff. Mm -hmm. The number two one, like my absolute, one of my favorite all time scenes in any movie is when the, his partner sleeps with the captain's daughter. Oh yeah, yeah And like yeah, yeah. he's trying to put two and two together and then the second <laughs> it goes off in his head and he figures it out. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, no, Oh, he, that was great. He, he knows how to put on the comedy charm, but he's like such like a, a good looking dude that you wouldn't expect it from Channing Tatum. Like, you know, he knows how to turn it on and off. Yeah. But um, Fluffy, uh, the thing that I really like about Fluffy is, and I like this with a lot of comedians who really like set the stage or like the story and add like the sound effects and that kind of thing and yeah. like change like characters. Like, hello, Fluffy. Like, you know, the guy, his agent. He, he is a good storyteller. His stories have a good flow to them mm -hmm. and like never feel like, you know, some comedians are good storytellers, but they're yeah. all over the place. Um, Bill Burr is one of those guys. Like, yeah. I think he's a good storyteller, but he can start on a story. Yeah. He can start on a story about, you know, a uh, time you went into a restaurant and like halfway through he's talking about how planes, you know, yeah. are doing something. It's so like all over the place. Yeah, Bill Burr is definitely not the more storyline guy. Yeah. He's like, he's like, Bill Burr is like the more casual comedian. Like, yeah. you know, it's almost like natural conversation. Like as if like you're just like a buddy and you're you're, you're talking to him and that's how he kind of presents Bar conversation. Himself. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then like you know you got Fluffy where it's like you know he's more of a storyteller and sets yeah. the scene. I love the sound effects that he comes up with, like uh, especially that stomach one that he did. Stomach one was great. That was very well done. So guys, thank you again for uh, sending us some stuff. If you guys want to send more stuff, uh, hashtag my request. Tyler Johnson, you're cut off. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Keep it going, we love it, uh, keep posting. Uh, but yeah, in the comment section, if you want to request a video, hashtag my request down below with the URL link. And please don't forget to check out okanswag.com and punch in that code for 20% off and also free shipping and no tax. What else do they do, Ryan? What is the code? Oh, two neighbors. <laughs> also guys, Jeez. you should like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe, and make sure if you're on Okina Swag, you type in neighbors spelled the Canadian way. The Canadian way. All right. So. <laughs> That's it for our show today, guys. We'll see you next time. Later, guys. <laughs>